Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Tony. So today I'm going to show you the empties, makeup empties that I have used in 2022. And I'm trying to find the correct value for them because some of the items are discontinued. And if I cannot find the discontinued items or the retail value for it, I will take a similar item from the same brand and match the price. You know, just to be plain, plain and simple about it. So now let's have a look what i have used maybe i start with the big items first and then work my way through to the smaller items now i have here this makeup forever setting spray i think i had it since 2018 in my collection i think and i used it up so i like the pump and um, i'm not sure if i will keep the bottle or not because uh, you know refilling or decanting stuff into other bottles after a while it's a little bit of a hassle I know um, but I like this product uh, would I buy it again yes but it's kind of pricey and if I don't get you know a, let's say a pro discounted makeup forever it's a little bit tough to you know uh, yeah to buy it repurchase it now Mac fix plus I have several bottles I think I have still five or six bottles of this one if you see the camera shaking is because of this little guy here of this little lady I should say baby don't show your butt to the people show your pretty face to the people meow 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 look 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 to the camera baby baby so anyway yeah you are upset that's fine life is hard um yeah i still have some bottles left so i will try to use them up and bring them back to MacBook. and this one is i believe 20 euros already or so so uh, yeah that's the thing now um i finished i believe i finished actually several foundations but i had decanted them that's the issue when you decant them you don't keep sometimes the original bottle you don't know which ones you had or not but um, for this one I kept the original bottle and I used this one up so this is the Urban Decay Naked Skin uh, foundation I, I'm not sure if they actually sell this one anymore I know the all nighter maybe they sell it but I'm not sure about this one um, I'm I'm pretty okay with the you know with the Urban Decay foundations some of them oxidize some of them they kind of keep the color but uh, it's kind of got quiet about Urban Decay you know in the YouTube arena, so to say, beauty YouTube arena, because nobody's talking about the foundations anymore. But then, you know, I'm quite happy or okay with the foundations. I can live with them. So this one, uh, yeah. I mean, I can understand why people are silent about these little guys anymore. <laughs> you know, I don't think that there was any big up. I haven't seen it. So this is the Urban Decay D Slick Complexion Primer. I really hated this guy because you know first of all the this this thing itself the the primer as you can see i have not used it up to, to completion why because the primer itself it went really bad like it kind of you can see sometimes you know here the the traces of the primer this is a dried up primer so imagine it dries up like that on your screen on your skin and you have really patches of really hard uh primer even though I kind of, you know, try to distribute it evenly, smooth it out into the skin, etc., etc., you had this kind of patches. And of course, then it also got stick, um, the foundation got stuck on it. And yeah, it really was really, really bad. So I would ne not recommend this. I don't think that they continue to have this one. Actually, it's decontinued, discontinued, sorry, for a reason. So, but these were pricey. I remember back in the day, I think it was 28 or 29 pounds when I bought it in the UK. So imagine this one you know it looks uh, really a lot it's 28 or yeah 28 ml in it but i would not recommend this one so the other version yes but not this one so then elf i have here the tone adjusting face primer i still have several of these little guys i it's an airless pump i finished it up I mean, it reminds me also uh, like NYX primer, you know, the NYX uh, photo loving primer because it has the same consistency and also the color, purple color, you know, um, nothing to write home about, you know, just it is a primer. I, I don't see any, you know, difference in that sense. Um, what else? Let me go on to the next things that I have here right in front of me. Um, 
I have here, oh, okay, two concealers, and um, these I bought from Aldi. So these are the Lacura CC Color Correcting Sticks. One is for correct dark circles, the pink one, and the other one is, of course, corrects redness. I still have the other beigey one, and so on. Um, okay, you know, three grams, they keep you busy for a long time, so... Uh, if you have the chance, buy from Aldi. Sometimes they make good dupes from uh, for original, you know, products or branded products. I would not say these are totally bad, but it's also like, you know, uh, once you need them, you buy them from Aldi. You know, it, it the price point is good in that sense. So, um, what else do I have here now? Let me show you some brushes, maybe that I want to declutter. Uh, you all know we have these brushes from the Urban Decay palettes, you know, the Naked palettes. So I think it's time to say goodbye to these ones. So I just throw them out. Uh, no price value in that sense. What else then? This little guy from BH Cosmetics from one of their sets, you know, makeup sets. I like, the, I like some of the BH uh, Cosmetics uh, brushes, you know. But this one was shedding on me, so I had sometimes, you know, black hair, you know, the bristles in my face. So I'm trying to see if I can, yeah, I, if I pull, I have, you know, the bristles in my hand. Uh, can I, you know, can I say, can I put a money value on it? It was a set, I don't know, 20 euros or whatever, $20. So if you have 10, 15 brushes, I don't know, $1 maybe. So not sure, I will see. Um, Okay, here's another, you know, Anastasia Beverly Hills, you know, brush from, I believe, from the Norvina or Modern Renaissance uh, palette. So that's, yeah, that's one thing. Then I had from Misha back in the day when I was in South Korea, you could buy these little guys with the sponge applicators, you know, that you have always in, within the little compact eyeshadows. You could buy also this one and then just stick it on and then use one. And then if you, if the one, top or tip got bad you just throw it away and put stick on a new one so i had this little guy but i i'm not really using it so uh, therefore this one is out of my collection now let's see what I, else i have yeah i have two i'm proud of these because they are quite pricey two of these little guys here this is the uh, abh brow definer and this was in dark brown completely done i finished this one and also the and broke in the end broke in the end of course this one is gone then I had here the brow waist also in dark brown also done I would actually appreciate if Ana Anastasia for example ABH would sell a you know a refillable ones because look I yeah this one you see I could actually remove it out of the out of the packaging and I think you know when they manufacture it they just stick it like this onto the whole thingy with the spoolie at the end and i would appreciate if anastasia would just sell this one as a kind of refillable so it makes sense sense you know to buy always the refills instead of buying always the whole component you know and then uh, yeah it's not environmentally friendly so now this one is also gone so what else do i have uh, <coughs> i do apologize i have a cold so if you cannot hear that, my sexy voice, you know, it's because of a cold. So the KVD or Kat Von D tattoo liner, you know, I think it's the mini, if I'm not mistaken, 2 ml, 0 0.2, 0 .2, 0 0.2 ml, 0 0.2 ml, sorry. And it's 0 0.007 fluid ounces. So completely dry, I don't think, yeah. When I say completely dry, but it doesn't, you know, it is, yeah, it is not working properly anymore. So this one, you can just throw it away. But I think it's also $10, maybe, if I'm not mistaken. So then, uh, what else do I have? Oh, I have here quite a bit of lip liners. So, uh, no, this one is also from Misha. Sorry, I see now this is also another of these little guys. I will throw it away now. Um, Kiko Milano for lip liners I have finished you know these were you know this uh, you could wind them up and so on and use them I believe they are eight or nine euros uh, and these are all from the unexpected paradise um, 
collection. Uh, they were on sale when I bought them, I think two euros or three euros. Would I buy them again? Not really, because they are just only 0.3 grams, not even one gram, but 0.3 grams. And they are so creamy. You know, you, can, you should not roll it up so far, uh, you know, out of the packaging or else if you, they break and you lose the product. So, uh, you know, and they were good to use them as lipsticks. Um, I think one lipstick or one lip liner would have um, uh, been used for one or two weeks, maybe max, because that was my experience. Because when I used them, I could, if I just used them as a lipstick, I think I would have finished one, maybe one, one or one and a half weeks so quickly they were gone. So I believe eight or nine euros are the original price before discount. Uh, so then let's see what else I have. I have some, you know, foundation samples, the Kevin O'Quan, the Etherealist uh, Foundation. Loved it. I loved it. I could use this little sample three or four times. You don't need so much product, but the foundation itself, <whistles> foundation itself is 50 euros uh, currently at some places in Europe. So I am saving my money to buy the foundation. I have a lot of foundation, so I need to, yeah, save it. <whistles> Baby. No, I have to remove my flowers because they were still from my birthday, the flowers. So she's, you know, paying, trying to get my attention now. So you have cats, you love cats. Yeah, but they are sometimes a pain in the butt. <whistles> Hello, <whistles> baby, mama, mama. <whistles> Kur. Yeah, come, come baby. Okay. Another of these things that I have here is the Makeup uh, Revolution Amazing Sheer Gloss. I had them in from a baby. <whistles> baby. Mamba, come, come baby. You know, I had them from a uh, col uh, Christmas collection. And <whistles> no. Nine. Nine. Wunta. 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 Runter. See, should have listened for the first time already. So, no, back to these little guys. I had them from a co Christmas collection that, uh, you know, that they had, I think, two, three, four years ago, maybe. Not a really big fan of those because I don't like the tube that they come in. You have to always squeeze it and then you see there's a lot of air bubbles going on. So I don't like it. Now, then I had some samples, for, uh, you know, Foundation samples that I have used as bronzers. Here you can see, uh, I think this was NARS uh, concealer, to be honest. Uh, I think I used it as a, a bronzer. Then I think I had two Becca samples, if I'm not mistaken. I used them also as a kind of cream bronzer thingy. I finished also one powder, but at the compact I'm using for another thing. So that one, the Maybelline uh, uh, Matte Maker, uh, that was... Uh, uh, powder that I have finished I, but I have the compact you know filled up with another product already then I had also um, individually one uh, single eyeshadow from the quintessential palette from Ace Boutet I finished that one because the palette is not completed yet or not out of my collection I don't count that money value for example and uh, I think this was the you know this was maybe the, the yeah or it was it another no, that, I think this was the uh, pen that I used or the emptied. So therefore, yeah, you see, I don't, you know, consider this with a money value. So, and then I had another single eyeshadow that I have emptied. It was a cream eyeshadow. That one is gone. Um, the ABH eyeshadow primer, you know, just a small mini size. This was just only, uh, not for sale, it's a sample size. I think two grams, three grams, no, seven ml, seven ml. So that's not a lot. And also I don't like the bottle. I mean the tube because you always have to squeeze it and sometimes you don't get everything out of it. So, okay, let's try, <whistles> baby. Yeah, I know you are upset. Oops, uh, yeah, so, no, 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 no. Okay, ciao, bye bye. Um, yeah, Nude by Nature uh, concealer in the shade De Desert Beige, I believe, or Desert Sand. 
I didn't like the tube because you could not really, I could say the tube didn't stay put or didn't stay flat. You always, you know, had the air bubbles coming out after a while and so on. So I had to cut it open to get just the small bits out of it. I'm not sure how much this, you know, cost the original or the bigger size, you know, this was just a sample of 5.9 ml, I believe. Yeah. So what else did I have? Then I had from Primark, uh, lip pencil those were one or two euros so not a big money value then these little guys are usually expensive the you know these are the eye pencils from Kiko Milano so they are eight or nine euros I believe so I finished only one so far but you have to be careful they dry quickly uh, they dry up quickly so you always have to push the lead down and then sharpen it and that's why I could use it quickly because I was like okay push it down sharpen it use it then next time push it down sharpen it use it and therefore I finished this one kind of quickly um final final product this is a Zoeva pen in back to black I believe so this was a graphic pencil that they had long time ago. I bought the whole set because I really like the design and the colors and so on, and I'm trying to use them up. But it's the same uh, as with the with you know the Kiko Milano pencils. You have to really use them quickly, push them down because they are so creamy, but they also dry that quickly. So they kind of you know shrink away from the wood, and you have to repress them, sharpen them, use them. And so on so that's why i could finish this one very quickly now so that these were all my makeup empties in 2020 i mean i have still some products which are close to be finished but i don't think that i will be finishing them uh in six days so today is the 24th uh, of december 2022 uh, but i will see in the next year how much i can finish or i will count those as finished uh, for the next year I hope you enjoyed my little empty makeup empties video. I see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye bye.